Alright, so I upload the video to YouTube and only about two minutes were shaved off. So I'm just going to keep it like that because I don't, I honestly don't know what's wrong with. It might be just this computer in general because this, I've had this problem before, but it seems like way more prevalent with this series. I just have to make sure it's on. But yeah, so at this point, I think I noticed that my capital had more science than Rome or Lisbon, but I really, and then Longhorn fans obviously super far behind. He just entered the industrial. He's not even a problem at this point. Now I can get my public schools up and running. I don't even know what I'm looking at. Oh, I'm looking at the turns because I'll work on public school for two turns. I'll get Oxford, then continue. That's usually what happens. Because I get public schools at basically almost every single game. There are a few exceptions as to why I wouldn't. Um, as to why I wouldn't. What would you call it? I wouldn't Oxford Radio. There, if, if there are games where I get no fresh water near my capital, I might uh, beeline for a fertilizer instead to get the uh, food from farms without fresh water. Th but that's like really special. That Those cases are really specialized. Because I won't really do that for my secondary cities only if my capital has no fresh water. And if your capital has no fresh water, then you've basically lost. But yeah. Anyway. Also, I guess if... Uh, because at that point, I might as well just tech to like artillery and then kill people around me, unless, like, it's in my scenario where I'm really defensive. Oh, someone said something. Oh, yeah. But I don't think, I think Longhorn Fan is, uh, he's actually, like, serious about this. Hmm. I would not mix bottle water and tap water with Bert, if I were you. That's it. It does, this just tastes weird. I don't know why, but... Yeah. But yeah. So, but I actually, I think at this point, I'm not sure if I realized I had a shot. Or at least that I realized I was going to win, but I think I did have a shot. Because war in this game, you, it sort of has to be done quick. Like, you have to steam, you have to complete, it's sort of like the, the, probably the best example, like, in real life is like the Blitzkrieg. It sort of has to just be done quick and with minimal casualties. So you just sort of have to like steamroll your opponent, basically. That's why when you war, you almost always do it after you get text. Like as soon as you get expos, you upgrade all your comps and then go after someone. Or same if you have, or in, in like Persia's case, if you feel that, um, if you feel that like you have no other choice, then I guess you could. But and Porto is fairly defendable from uh, Persia. I don't think he would have been able to take that if you tried to attack it. And they do actually get behind from a war of attrition, because for whatever reason, Rome doesn't stop with, uh, also our cap, his capital lost a pop, I don't know why, mine's, because now ours are at the same size, but, um, yeah, he, I think he fights India after this, or Venice, no, I think he fights India, and then he fights Venice. I think that's what goes down. Or maybe Indonesia fights India, but I know everyone, basically, everyone in this game, this is one of those rare games where every single person has been in a war. Granted, mine was probably done most efficiently. The guy threw everything he had at me, left the game, and then I just took his capital, but... So technically, I was the closest to domination victory. So I was closest to two victories, domination science. But after this, th my only real threat was Venice, after, like, everyone else left. Oh, yeah, looking at Venice is at 18, but that's that's normal. And then I'm obviously last in culture for now, but, yeah. He is plus 25 with Indonesia, that's probably for trade route. He's already familiar with me, That's shows how low my culture has been developed. But I'm building the guilds. Early game culture mostly comes from, like, wonders and crap. Or whatever. Late game culture comes more from the guilds you've built, the archaeological digs you've done, all the culture buildings you've built, the your ideology stuff. So it sort of like really snowballs later on, but 
early game cultures, it's almost all like, it's almost all like wonders and stuff. You get massive amounts of culture from wonders, especially if you wonder spam. Wonder spamming is never. All right, now I switch to Oxford. So I finished it at the same time as electricity. You can finish it, and also this has fucked me over many times. You have to check the amount of turns it takes for your city to grow, because if you set it to, like, if it's three turns left and your city grows in two turns, your city might grow in two turns to a production town, finish the Oxford one turn early. That's happened to me at least twice, but I've, I've learned to, like, check now. So let's see. Yeah, Venice just got the Sistine Chapel, so... This is... I suppose I could have gone for the Great Firewall. But that was a bit far from where I was near the end of the game. And even so, that doesn't entirely stop a tourism victory. And at that point, I wasn't really worried about that. I was worried about diplomacy, because I... I guess in Civ Six, the religious victory is equivalent to the diplomacy victory, where it can really sneak up on you. Also, that's the second time a spell was killed. I'm not sure if that's unlucky or not, but it probably is. But still, just, I don't know. It's like, because diplomacy victory is, it's, if you're using internal trade like you should, it's going to be really hard to counter. So I guess, in a way, you sort of need, like, I have, you have to rely on other people not to let it happen until you can just flat out kill the person who's going for diplomacy. Oh yeah. So this is where he wars Venice and I assume he was going to attack Venice by sea but I'm not actually sure what he's done because I don't know what the rest of the landmass is like. And also Venice is largest in military but there yeah that's just it's because the AI is so many units. It's not because they know like how to war or they have good units. Like see he still has like warriors, crosswomen, and pikes which are kind of old now. Aerome immediately went up two sizes since I last checked, but I could be growing a lot faster, but I haven't done my, I'm not, like normally, I normally do my tile assignments, it's just that this game, I guess I'm, I don't know, for whatever reason I didn't do it, I guess because I knew this game was going to be like an example I'd use for this, so I guess you have to purposely make some flaws, or I just didn't care, but let's see. So Raga is building walls. I think Lisbon is walls. Raga is walls, but Porto doesn't. I'm not really about worried about Porto. It'd be really hard to take. Yeah, sort of, because they would have to sort of attack from below. They couldn't attack from the west, and then they would just get pincered from Raga and Lisbon. So now, yeah, everything is taking a while. Now I get a workboat for that fish tile because everything else is super expensive or takes a long time to build. It's not worth spending 15 turns on one thing. Especially when texts take like 7 or 8 to research. I don't even know what I'm looking at. Also, the Artist Guild. I'm not sure I noticed this, but I usually wait to build the Artist Guild until I get like archaeology so I could fill my museums with the great works of art. You still have uh, your palace holds a great work of art, but I guess if you're like going tourism and you're like Brazil, you might want to build it late because then you'll get all your uh, great scientists for uh, carnivals. But yeah, and then I'm looking at the text it'll take to construct Feitorias. And I eventually do send out a worker to Cape Town. There are a few other uh, city states near there, but that I can't, I couldn't find any city states. I don't know why, but yeah. Wait on Indonesia. I don't know what they're doing. They're not at war anymore. I think they leave soon, like, because I know I think they leave, then Longhorn fan, then Cockadoo will do. Short hair. What are the... Steam names are weird. I was thinking of changing mine, but just some random idea I had in class instead of going with Raider, but I'm just, just, there's no real reason. Enrico Dandolo is also a bit behind. He just entered Australia. Now I got... Oxford Radio, I'm the first in the modern, get my spy, next turn I'll get freedom. And this, I think this is sort of like the point where I realized that I was ahead. Also, I noticed that aluminum. I, I sent my general up there to 
get it, which is a real smart choice because I need that aluminum for a hydro plant in Lisbon. That's gonna buff if I can get a pause on Lisbon. That's that's gonna I'm guessing that's at least like 15 tiles that are gonna get plus one production. Also, status please block. That's just a display issue. You're not actually at war. Yeah, so I'm gonna send it to that hill to general it. Then I get the public school in one turn. In my cap. Then my sign should shoot up. Let's see. Next industrialization. I usually go radio industrialization, then work my way up to f uh, labs from the bottom of the tree or plastics. I actually think in this scenario I go industrialization, then uh, compass, um, astronomy, and navigation. I actually think. But I'll have to see. And then I also upgrade all my old units before I get industrialization. Mainly because I just, I hate Gatling guns. Or at least, I just, I still prefer crossbowmen over Gatling guns. So I'm going to move all my guys back. Do I move this room back? I don't even know. Scout obviously can't do anything. Oh yeah, I can upgrade to a knight. So I'm going to want that. I can just upgrade. I don't know why I didn't move to Persepolis, but... Yeah, I'm upgrading all my stuff now. I don't know why I didn't move that compo back, but it's not important. Do I upgrade that spear? I don't know. Probably not. That'd be a waste of money. It's just, it's there for barbs, but the others actually might have some use. So. So now I'm going to fiddle around with my ideology. I probably, I think I go for uh, the, what do you call? I, I almost always go for half food consumed by specialists. And then also, probably tw plus 25% great people born or great people birth rate it's almost always standard for me unless I'm unhappy but still the the 25% uh, or 50% reduced consumption or 50% food from specialists that is or 50% food consumed by specialists that's one of my favorite tenets it's very strong it basically allows you to work specialists with minimal like downside or minimal like, like you won't starve your cities working them. Yeah, and I'm obviously first, so I'll get my two. Yeah, I get civil society, specialist, specialist consume half food. One of the strongest, um, one of the strongest, what do you call it? Strongest tenants in my opinion. Let's see. That city's going to grow soon. Yeah, look at it. It's just, it reduced my times across the board for cities, city growth. Also, when combined with uh, the Statue of Liberty, that's half food plus one production, and eventually, if you get the uh, Freedom Tenant half happy or half unhappiness, it makes it essentially it makes specialists extremely powerful. That's mainly why you go Freedom to like be reap the most benefit off of your specialists. Like, you can have a wide empire, and you can still go Freedom, like. It's not as efficient as going order, but there's still, like, a ton of benefit. I know it's different with, like, mods. If you have, like, the NQ mod, all of the stuff has changed. But in at least in, like, the, uh, just the base game, freedom is probably one of the most, if the first, if not the second most powerful. Oh, yeah, just a bit of lag. Got a coast is dropping off. I don't think he actually ever drops. That's one of the reasons why I also wanted to record this game, because rarely in a game of multiplayer sift is like, I don't think there was a single, like, uh, reconnect her. Yeah, you think I get a castle, or maybe a public school. I have to, yeah, I think I just get a castle, straight up castle. Yeah, I do. Is that city, I, I, looking at it, looking at the map, I don't think that city, anyone had a city on the, because apparently later in the game we find out there are two inland seas, or we probably already figured that out, but I don't think anyone's on the inside of the second inland sea, so just gotta upgrade that before industrialization. Let's see. Also just using those just in case India gets any funny ideas. Let's see. Now I gotta move these guys back. Don't want random barbarians spawning. It's terrible. Hate when that happens. Yeah. Braga. Do 
Do I actually change production? No, I don't think I do. If I do, I change it to like an amphitheater or something, but I don't think I need that at this point. I think I have amphitheaters in my other cities. I don't know, but Raga is one of my most exposed cities, so. Or do I change it to an amphitheater? No, I don't think I change it to a trine. I think I just leave it at that. Yeah. I don't know why I'm being so indecisive. That's one of my main problems with Civ is I'm really indecisive about everything. So. Even when my turn's ended, I'm just like double checking everything. There's like. Yeah. And then obviously nothing so far has happened to Venice. Like nothing has changed. Guess I don't know what Rome was thinking. Oh, and he also got a Fuzzy. That's an art culture wonder. Because the AI basically just rushes like culture wonders. Or any wonders at all. AI wonder spans fairly hard. I think I get a zoo in that city. Eight turns for a stock exchange. Also, I, I'm checking to see what I can buy with faith. But, oh yeah, now I can get a public school. Do I go for a stock exchange? Because I get industrialization in one turn. I probably go for a zoo. That's what I'm going to guess. Oh, no, I don't. It's a bit of a bold move. But... Dad yeah, just gets, no, electricity. That's where you get stock exchanges. Also, yeah, I'm still getting my great works. Culture is still important in this game. You don't want to neglect it. So you're gonna, uh, gonna citadel that, uh, aluminum next turn. So I can work on it. I don't really want to buy a tile, but, yeah. So there's, uh, there's that fish tile I've wanted. My, uh, it, it actually took so long, takes longer to build the castle, or the castle now, but. Do I go for amphitheater? For whatever reason, I don't go for an amphitheater in that city, but I guess it's because I don't really need a castle. And that's it. And Persepolis is fairly, it's tucked away. No one's going to take it. Yeah. For whatever reason, I don't go for a zoo. I don't know why, but. I guess stock exchanges. I'm sort of lacking on gold now, so. Let's see. Uh, and I also just found out about my new spy. I'm looking at the demographics. Rome's still one. Do I actually spy in... No, I think I spy in Indonesia's capital because I don't want to spy in Rome's, like, crappy settle in Neapolis. In Indonesia, I'm still interested in what they're doing because they're still more relevant than Longhorn fam. Oh, yeah, so I bumped up in crop yield a ton. Now I'm second in pop as well. So things are going fairly well because population is... Your science is directly related to your population. It's a, what would you call it? A direct relationship if you're in like mathematics. Or like as one goes up, the other goes up. And that's, granted, you still have to be happy, but like my cap, I've sort of just been feeding my cap the whole game. Also, he just completed Porcelain Tower. I actually don't think he has the modern era until somewhat late. And I actually had the modern era a lot earlier than I expected. I expected it like 1700, but I was off, so... Let's see. Now this, I have to choose what to build in that city. Oh yeah, so there's coal on my academy. That's a bit lucky for me. So, also, I think I just pulled that there. Also, there's coal on Porto, or next to Porto. Two sources, and then a source in between. So my capital, one source, but two within range. One source within the three tiles, two within range. And then let, let's get our factories up. Yeah, I switched to a factory, because eight turns. That's like, oh yeah, I think I can just go straight to navigation now, just to get my Fatorias. Do I actually shift-click that? I don't know, but... And then I actually think I end up stealing navigation. I'm not entirely sure about it. Or either that, or simply just science overflow from my previous text. Oh yeah, I gotta chop that force so I can get some coal, but... Yeah, I have tons of workers, so I guess that's a good thing. Do I actually upgrade these guys? I assume so eventually, but maybe not. We'll see. Let's see. Demographics. I'm still last in military. Great. I'm, I have significant more than what I have, but also Rome's first now, but Venice, nothing is, literally nothing has happened with Venice. Oh, so I do upgrade these. Upgrade those three. And then it doesn't change immediately. It changes the turn after, so I don't know what I'm doing. Let's see. Oh yeah, there will be, I don't know how I didn't notice that hill before. I put my academy on the uh, plains tile without fresh water instead of that hill. But I guess, I guess I didn't have it at the time, so. Let's see. Compass in one. 
astronomy in one, and also a great engineer born secularism, the most power. If you had to go rationalism, you could literally pick up those two tenets and be done. Like, that's it. Also, I'm going to save that for Statue of Liberty. I think I end up saving it for. Because Statue of Liberty, that's part of what makes freedom so great. It's really those three policies. Because freedom, you usually don't go for... That's because it's... Yeah, essentially it's the three policies in freedom that make it so great. The civil society, the uh, half unhappiness, or the specialists consume half food, uh half unhappiness from specialists, and then also the Statue of Liberty. But that's assuming you can get, which I assume I can't get. Also, I don't think I actually end up working that. I want the state to grow. No, I don't think I end up working that. Do I? No, I don't. I just don't really, I don't really care at this point. Because I don't need a lot of, I don't rush a lot of wonders. Like, wonders that I would actually push for, like, Hanging Gardens Petra, if I can get them. Like, if I have a, Hanging Arms Petra City, I will, or if I have a good, also, yeah, Rome makes peace with Venice. I don't know why they're a war to begin with, but, because literally nothing came out of it, but. If I have a good Petra City, I will push Hanging Gardens, or it actually really depends. If no one else goes tradition, which is the rarity, or if I just have the spare production for it, I'll push for Hanging Gardens. I will prioritize Petra if I have a good, um, if I have a good Petra City. Then the next one, I guess, really the next one is, um, I don't know what I'm even doing with that city, but, um, so yeah, Statue of Liberty, I, re I really only go for one just that affect infrastructure. Oh, actually, no, Hubble Space Telescope, that's, those are usually the four wonders I like to push. I don't really, really go for any other wonders unless I have, like, dead production or spare engineer, but even so, like, still, also I get navigation in one turn from... Science overflow. So now up at 410, which isn't that bad. Also got to send a worker to Cape Town. Do I pick up navigation or steel? I don't even know. Oh, I pick up navigation. All right, so now you go into plastics. So I guess that was a bit efficient because now I, because I spent, I didn't really want to waste production on sort of like compass why are we fine? Oh, what? I believe I best. Oh, sh short hair. Or oh, short hair is saying I believe I've been bested. So yeah, he's he sort of dropped off really hard. He had a really good early game. Like he was I for the most part of the other game. Like before turn a hundred, I thought I was gonna win. But yeah, then he got he sort of his city was taken by Rome and he flipped it. That's his second city. That's really big. Like. That's essentially if Porto got taken and flipped. Now I can also build a... Yeah, he left the game. And then Gajamata won't do his trades with me because he freaking hates me for my warmongering. Even though that was one time in the other game and I had war declared on me. But that's just the Civ AI for you. I know I pick a lot the Civ 6 AI, but it's really bad across the board. I don't think there was ever a Civ game with good AI, but... Yeah, now factory nature. I can get tons of stuff from that, but... Yeah, yeah, I don't know what happened. He had a really strong, yeah, he sort of plateaued real hard. Like, it wasn't necessarily just his city getting taken and flipped, but his capital, like, he sort of just stayed at 20 pop. And I'm not sure what he was doing with science-wise, because I'm pretty sure he had less than me in terms of science. So, or at least, at like, after turn 100. Once I had more than Rome, Rome was probably the second highest in science. I'm not sure, Venice obviously isn't doing well. They just had an industrial era, but... See, so yeah, I gotta send that to Cape Town. Let's see, let's get get that aluminum online. Now I can build a hydro plant in my cities. I'm gonna need a. I assume I go for a factory, probably. Probably a factory. That's what I'm guessing. I don't. I don't need, it would make most sense. Because I'm only working literally two of the tiles. And then I guess six turns is a bit much for like a bank zoo. Or you can get an opera house. Oh, I actually do go for that because I think I'm using both my slots. Yeah, I think I am. So I sort of need that opera house online. Yeah, she's seen that. And then I probably go for like a bank afterwards. I don't even know, but 
So I'm guessing why I'm done. I'm doing because looking at the game afterwards, I guess like I feel like I can do better. Or let I don't know. It might not just be. It's it's sometimes with other games too, but I don't really look at how I play after other games, but with Civ especially, like I guess for the most part, I sort of have like a. It's like my. There's like a prioritization order among uh, building what I want to build, but, and this is assuming it's not wartime, but also, I don't, saving up for great engineers. I was taking all his trade outs for gold. Oh, so they were still at war, but for whatever reason, he was just sending his trade routes through Rome's territory. I don't know why, but yeah, let's see. I'm browsing five. I think I just start chopping everything. Or no, I can get a lumber mill on that, actually. And then we need to cut that. Get a farm there. Let's see. One turn for a factory and size 29. Not bad. Ideally, you want your capital to be sort of like size 30 at least. By Also, I'm sending my food to Persepolis now. Because Braga is doing well on food. Like, let's take a look at Braga. Uh, yeah, six turns till a new... Um, Six turns till a new uh, citizen, so. Persepolis wasn't doing too well on food, so. Let's see. Knights don't upgrade the Lancers. I don't know why I'm looking at them, but. Pikes do, so I'll have to upgrade that next. Let's see. Yeah, it's kind of lucky that the one aluminum spawned right next to Persepolis, but. It's just, yeah, and then it's just coal everywhere. I mean, there's obviously more, but. Just like within my area. So I would have had to end up taking his cap regardless. But I guess it's just, it's better that I got done early game. So now I can just turtle. Which is what I've been, I've been I'd say I've been turtling fairly effectively because if the, if, if let's say India were to, how would, Rome is practically unable to attack me. I don't know how they would attack me. Maybe by sea. Also Rome took, uh, Probably by he would try by sea because he just got Indonesia's city, their coastal city, and uh, yeah. Also, look at his. He's not gonna do this. I don't know why, but I think he might. I tried two for one. Yeah, there's still, and that sucks. What sucks is that Indonesia won't trade as well. I I don't know what's wrong with the AI. It's just it's it's weird. And let's see. Unfortunately, Longhorn fan isn't able to come in and save the day. Oh wait, no he is, oh my god. That's perfect. My game long ally, I don't think I'd be able to attack him. Let's see. And usually what happens if you chop a jungle or like a forest, it resets the tile prioritization to about 80 to 8 to like 90% of the time, the tile you just chopped. So yeah, let's, I think I get a hydro plant, because that saves amazing with a hydro plant. Oh no, I get a one turn caravan first, because I can use overflow from the caravan production to get a hydro plant. Also, I'm going to get my Fatorias up near Cape Town. I think that's literally the only Fatoria I get, but... Yeah, just... I have extra units to upgrade soon, so... Gotta keep in mind which ones you want. Let's see. <sighs> Everything's going well in this game. I think I send that one to Braga. Most likely. So I guess it wouldn't have made much of a difference. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I sent that to Braga. Let's see, either that or Porto, but most likely Braga. Or at least that's what I'm guessing. I don't, I don't exactly know what I did, but that's what I assume I'm going to do. So, see now, no, Hydro Plant's still three turns, but... Let's see, Braga. Oh no, I sent it to Porto. That's interesting. I was thinking that maybe I'd want to buff Braga because... I don't know. This this was a weird game. I wasn't, but I I still think I played about as efficiently as I could have, or at least almost as efficiently. Also, I'm kind that down. That's literally not going to change the difference. Cutting is a lot more prevalent in Civ Six, especially with uh, Magnus. He makes her cutting really powerful. But yeah, I guess the. I guess the caravan's better for Porto because almost all Braga's tiles are food, so it wouldn't make sense to send food to Braga. 
because I sort of I sort of sent food to Braga just to get pop up, and then it's sort of like, cause you I want Lisbon to be working all those tiles, like all those good tiles. So Braga is left with just a couple crappy tiles, and some specialists. So I guess I just want to get Braga's pop up until it could like work all those, and then I'll send to my R cities. But yeah, that city is a nice production house with all that gold. It's really good. Yeah, Persia they had a good start too. They had sort of like the production equivalent start. I'm actually surprised they didn't like... If they were a better player, they easily would have steamrolled me early game. Because Lisbon is fairly defenseless. There are tons of rivers, but still. You can hit my city from the river. Or from across the river. Because the river is adjacent to my city. Not one tile over. So it makes it a lot easier to like attack. But... It's just sort of, I don't know what I'm doing now. Probably want to get water or something. But I'm going to end the video soon after... No, I'm going to end it now. Going to, so 3 or 3, 38. So I've been going a bit past an hour, but uh, at this point in time, I've sort of like caught up. I'm still the only one in the modern era, by the way, but yeah, I've definitely caught up, if not surpassed. Because Indonesia, the AI aren't really a threat until like diplomacy starts coming around, but because they almost never war you, and if they do, they're bad at it, but. So now Indonesia is no longer a threat. Um, India is never really a threat, and it's just Rome who I've already surpassed, and I know that. But it becomes even more prevalent, in, which will eventually be the next video of this, which should be Tuesday. Because tomorrow I have nothing. Saturday, uh, town. Sunday, Civ 5. And then back with Behind Closed Doors Monday, which I'm really hate to delay that game by like almost a week for me playing it because that honestly that game is fucking great Probably, or that mod it's on the same level as rain clouds like but there's still the whole game left i didn't really like rain clouds up until like the middle to end or at least i didn't appreciate the game for what it was but still this isn't really the video to be talking about that but I guess, yep, there's only, a, I'll do an, my hour after this, then I'll do, like, the parts that got cut off by the video, so, or by YouTube. So, yep, I guess that's it for this video. Saturday it is, then.